Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Throwback Thursday, and you know what that means. Old stuff. Today, the Wayback Machine takes us back to 1992 to kick off a few episodes where we're going to look at uncut sheets from Sports Illustrated for kids. I've mentioned this in the past, thought it was a good time to do it because... Tonight is the kickoff of the new NFL season. We've got 8A run and the Packers taking on Trubisky and Dub Bears. Uh, so before we get into the uncut sheets, just want to throw a little love to Monday and Fab Sub Matt Spencer, who in his awesome birthday package threw in a pack of 2015 Bowman. And I pulled this. And then, watching PTI, I learned that Jorge Soler hit his 40th home run yesterday. He already broke the record for most home runs by a Kansas City Royal at 39 uh, a day or so ago. And then yesterday, hit his 40th. No Kansas City Royal in the history of the franchise has ever hit 40 home runs. So to pull this rookie card out of that just added to the awesomeness of what was already a super, super duper awesome package from Fab Sub, Matt Spencer. Uh, Jorge Soler, he got traded from the Cubbies to the Royals for Wade Davis in 2016, and it makes me wonder if he got a ring. I wonder if he got a chip, you know? Because uh, I uh, asking Tops, they said, you get the rookie card logo of you are up in the show. Uh, so that means in 2016, he was up with the Cubs, and I guess we will, uh, if anyone knows that there, leave a comment, let me know, but uh, big ups to Jorge Soler, basically the heart and soul of the Royals right now, uh, and very cool. Another, That's just what's fun about uh, card collecting, you know, is you learn about players, and you go back through your box, and you think, hey, I think I got that card, and it just it occurred to me right away, I was like, wait, I think I pulled that on Monday, uh, so there we go. Jorge Soler when he was with the Cubbies. All right, let's take a look at these uncut sheets. I thought it would be cool because it's the football season. There's going to be football in here along with basketballs coming up, uh, baseball players, Olympians, just some fun stuff. Uh, I've got them from a number of years, almost every month. So this is from 1992. Uh, we'll look at 93, uh, 94, I believe, 95 as well in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so let's just get a little run through going right here, starting with the uh, Jim Kelly, Monica Sellis. Of course, we got the GOAT, Michael Jordan, Christian Okoye. Now, Carrie Strug, for the youngsters out there, she won the gold medal for the U.S. at the Olympics in, I want to say, 96. Um, maybe it was 94. I can't quite remember what that Olympic year was. Maybe it's 94, and that's why she's in here. Uh, but I'm trying to remember if maybe it was just early, uh, right? Because she was in the World Championships in 91, so it's not like she was nobody. Um, but she's the one who landed her vault on a sprained, broken ankle. Uh, Bell Bella Caroli going, you can do it! Uh, which was like pop culture legend for a long time. You can do it! She was on the original Beverly Hills 90210 after that and revealed her basically like super squeaky little voice. Because uh, because gymnasts are tiny, and she's what? Let's let's take a look at the back. It four foot five and a half, and seventy two pounds. <laughs> uh, so that was the this was the great uh, team with like Shannon Miller and uh, just some wonderful gymnasts. We got a great team these days as well. Uh, so there you go. Nice. That was the first sheet. I have every month in nineteen ninety two except for September, and that makes me think that maybe I there was like a Frank Thomas card or something in that, and I just uh, took it apart and put it in the binder or something like that because I can't think of any other reason why I wouldn't have it. Uh, so clearly there's the Winter Olympics in 94, uh, which is why I guess we're seeing all of these Winter Olympians. Mike Ruzioni. Uh, part of the Miracle on Ice, if I recall correctly. And if you ever saw that uh, Miracle movie, Miracle, I think uh, Mike Ruzioni's in there. Wolfgang Hoppy. <laughs> Great name, Wolfgang Hoppy. And Scott Hamilton, of course, 
another ice skating legend. Neek. Terry. Oh, Mark Rippon. People forget Mark Rippon. He won a Super Bowl. He got in a little bit of, like, I don't know, trial. He was something I recall recently. He got in a little trial. I think got dismissed some sort of legal battle problem. Something like that. Derek Coleman. Look at that. Mark Rippon. 6'4, 234. That's a big boy. I don't, uh, as fo most folks know, I don't collect football really, but uh, I'm excited to watch the game. I'm a big fan of Aaron Rodgers. I think he's one of the greatest of all time. Uh, he's just a lot of fun to watch, so I'm hoping he's going to have a great season with his new coach and the Packers do well. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I think you know people are, are big on the Packers and the Bears, so hopefully it'll be a good game tonight. Kirby Puckett. The Rocket. David Robinson down there. These are really fun. It's a shame they don't have stuff like this, uh, like SI for Kids anymore, uh, just because I think it's a great way to get kids more engaged in sports and community. Um, and, you know, if you're a collector, they come with these cool sheets. And so it would be nice if they brought that back. But even if it was digital, I think it might be kind of cool. You know, kids will look at it. They're so in love with their iPads and technology that... Uh, you could make it pretty easy, I would imagine. Oh, there's the big hurt. I see him coming up here. Robert Parrish. The Kimbe. No, no, no. Not in my house. Hall of Famer Tom Glavin. Mark Messier. Stanley Cup champion. And there's the big hurt. And, uh, I believe one of his MVP campaigns. Uh, I think that was 93-94, maybe 92-93, something like that. Let's see if it says on the back here. He finished third in the AL MVP. So, yeah, so this must be, he won in 94, 95, I guess. I, I just remember it was back to back. Look at that. 6'5, 240. Tight end. It's a nice sheet right there. Dig that. It's a fun one. I think we'll probably get into some football again here. Yeah, I see a couple. As I, I think it's going month by month. So like what is playing, right, in, in this month? And this is on the back. Uh, this is June. They have the little dates on there. That's how I was able to break them down. I was like, oh, should I just show all of them? And I thought, oh, well, I can break it down year by year. Nice Sean Kemp. Man, he was a high flyer. A lot of fun to watch with the Supersonics. Save our Sonics, man. As I said uh, when met Dan Garriott, uh, he predicts the, that uh, maybe the Grizzlies will move to Seattle um, or maybe Vegas. But he thinks that the Supersonics or, or a Seattle team will return because there's just too many teams in small markets that can't, uh, can't survive. And with revenue sharing, they kind of don't care. I know it's about community and like that's your team in your area, but really ownership doesn't care. I mean, I just... Heard that uh, Ursay got offered over three billion dollars to sell the Colts, and he turned it down. So, I mean, there's always a price, but it just you know it depends, I guess, on a myriad of factors. Nice Hall of Famer Robbie Alomar, the human train wreck John Daly, Jim Abbott. Does the uh, he was a for kids that don't know uh, a one-handed pitcher in the big leagues did throw a no hitter. Uh, with the Yankees, if I recall. Um, but he came up with the Angels and was a good pitcher. Um, was fun to watch the way he would switch his glove from his, uh, like this. And then when he after he threw the ball, he would basically slide it right into the glove and be ready to field. Uh, and he was a pretty good fielding pitcher as well. So pretty cool. Somebody to, when you get your like fair field boxes, you know, don't, don't uh, overlook a Jim Abbott card. This is a nice one for the Summer Olympics. Greg Luganis, the legend. Again, for the young kids out there that don't know about Greg Luganis, maybe the greatest diver of all time. Um, became a very big news story when he hit his head, the back of his head on the platform in practice. And 
still dove and won gold, and it came out many years later that he had already been diagnosed with HIV, and there was concerns, and he was keeping it quiet, but um, he is a wonderful advocate for the LGBTQ community now, and uh, just a, a, an American legend. Nadia Comaneci and Mark Spitz. Look at the caterpillar on that guy. Oh yeah, he's got a fresh crumb duster going. Uh, was the greatest American swimmer ever before Michael Phelps. And I can't believe there's a kid who just beat Michael Phelps' freestyle record. These kids are like human fish. I mean, Phelps himself is just, when you talk about freaks of nature like LeBron James and, you know, maybe Zion, some of these guys, uh, Michael Phelps is a freak of nature. He's basically, his body is designed for swimming. Um, huge feet, huge hands, long, lean. I mean, he just has all the the things you need to be the greatest swimmer ever, along with a lot of hard work, but he's, he was built for it. That's a cool one, though. All right, now we're getting back into baseball football season. This must be, I was going to say, August, yeah. So Richard Petty. Matt Williams, thinking about sending a TTM to him because he is back coaching third base uh for the Indians, maybe? I can't remember off the top of my head. Neon Dion, I think uh, they said on PTI this was also the anniversary of the day he hit a home run uh, for the New York Yankees while he was holding out in football from the Falcons. And after that, he signed at, with the Falcons and ran back a punt for a touchdown and held out the entire entire camp. Bobby Bo, you know, I've talked about Bobby Bo when it's Bobby Bonilla Day, still getting paid by the Mets. Going to be getting paid till like, I can't remember what it was, it was like 2040 or something like that. Um, getting millions every year for nothing. Chuck Finley, Mia Hamm, look at that. Back in the 90s, Mia Hamm, that's Mrs. Nomar Garcia Para, for those that don't know it. Imagine how great of athletes their kids are going to be. Uh, and they do have a couple, if I uh, recall. Mia Hamm, one of the greatest soccer players uh, in American history. Oh, look at that, from Selma, Alabama. Did not know that. Obviously a spot of some important American history. Oh, look at that, we got a, a skateboarder, too. See, that's, not, that's what's cool about these SI for kids, is you get a real a lot of diversity, different you know, diversity of sport, uh, of athlete. Really cool stuff. There he is, Zion before Zion, Grandmama himself, Larry Johnson. When I was at the card show uh, around my birthday, there was a couple of kids going through the bargain bin with me, and the kid's like, I'm getting Larry Johnson cards. I said, oh, well, you know, you got to get Grandmama. And he's like, Grandmama? And so I busted out my phone and showed him the commercials, and he just thought it was the greatest thing he'd ever seen. He was like, I can't believe that they would... Uh, do a campaign like that but when I mentioned it at first he was like you mean like Uncle Drew and I was like yeah but better uh, Larry never got a, a full movie and Uncle Drew is a pretty entertaining movie I'll, I'll hand it to him um, I don't know about Kyrie himself as a person but Uncle Drew is it's it's an entertaining movie nice escapist stuff how big is Larry Six seven two fifty. He was 6'2 in 7th grade. What state is Charlotte in? North Carolina, everybody. Just admiring that one. It's a nice one. Leonard Russell. Not that familiar with him. Uh, I just think that's interesting, you know, because now the this is when the Patriots were terrible. I mean, they were a laughing stock of the NFL, and then, you know, for the last oh, 20 years, it's been all about the Patriots. Haywood Jeffries, I remember you pulling his cards as a kid. Bruce Smith, big Bruce Smith. Great defensive end for the Bills in their era of going to all those Super Bowls in a row and not being able to get one. So many great players on that squad. I was a big Thurman Thomas fan. You've heard me mention it in the past. Because that was like, who's better, right? Barry or Thurman or Emmett, And they were all super good. 
All right, last one. This will be December, and this is, I guess, Legends. Pretty cool. Sugar Ray Robinson. Dr. J. The great Dr. J. In his, uh, I can't remember if it was HBO or ESPN. I want to say it was HBO did a documentary about Dr. J, and it opens with, like, a question of could he still dunk? And at the end of the documentary, he dunks. And he's like, I think he's 62 or 3 when they made the documentary. And they, they freeze frame it and end the documentary as the ball is like touching the top of the rim to go in. Uh, so it's almost like, did it go in? Did he brick it or what? But you know he dunked it. The Iron Horse Lou Gehrig. And of course the great Jim Brown. One of the first guys to retire in, a, in the prime of his career. Retired, I believe it was when he was on the set of The Dirty Dozen. So he was making movies and he was like, you know what? I can make this much money and not have to get hit in the head over and over again. I think I'll take it. And so he just stuck to movies after that. So there you go, kids. When you think about Andrew Luck retiring young, he wasn't the first. Barry Sanders wasn't the first. Very cool. 6'6", six, six, same height as Michael Jordan for Dr. J. No wonder they're always compared. Man, Lou Gehrig, six foot two hundred, just a, a brick wall. What a stud. Very cool. Well, that was pretty fun, if I may say so myself. Would love to hear your thoughts on it, so leave a comment and let me know. Uh, looking forward to reading those. Slam that like button, make sure you're subscribed to all your friends, and I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.